what we've uh, got, we got well, the documentary Saturday Night on BBC yeah, Two. Yeah. Uh, on my life, what was it like making that? That was hard work. I mean, it's a mixed documentary. I've done a couple years ago, and it's a mixed. You know, you you either loathe yourself for thinking you're a subject of a documentary. Secondly, you want to do a, a kind of you. If you have agreed to do it, you might as well do it. So there's a. I believe the word is dichotomy, which is a word I don't really people bandy this word about. Um, there is a, a double, there's an opposite thing going mm. on, one against the other. So I found it, I've, as I did the last time I did a documentary, it was is very difficult to actually come to terms with the fact that you've accepted to do it, that you think you might be the subject of a documentary. Yeah. And um, having said that, then you just try and fill it with information and be interesting, and that's your job after that, is to not be boring. Yeah. And I, I took pleasure in doing that. Yeah. Um, also, yeah, it was an excuse to go to Ireland with the kids, which was great. Um, met some nice people again. We had some little conventions. We met in a tally ho, Charlie Gilliatt, Humphrey Ocean, and Charlie Sinclair, who used to play the bass in the Kilburns. Yeah. And sitting in his room, it had no resemblance whatsoever to the tally ho we used to play in years ago. Yeah. Only I mean, 26 years ago we used to play in it. So it's not surprising it's changed a bit. Um, and just very nice reminiscences as well you know so it's uh, it's not really about the dog house not about music as much as about i suppose anecdotal evidence of things that have happened you know yeah things like yeah that. did you get a chance to look more sort of more in detail at things that you've not covered before because i remember the old south bank show that yeah. you did that was very much sort <coughs> of uh, around the uh, uh was it two thousand weeks holiday yeah, yeah, that area. It wasn't South Bank Show. It was uh, Channel 4. It was, was it? Uh, Frank O'Rosso. Oh, sure. He's who directed Babylon. Yeah? So this, uh, this new one, I mean, is it a bit more about the Kilburns? Because it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of it's an area that not a lot of, uh, I think, yeah, the sort of the hardcore... Well, I say during the documentary, more people have you know, seen the Kilburns after they packed it in and they saw them at any time <laughs> when they was alive. <laughs> you know what I mean? When they was happening. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of footage of the Kilburns, in fact, which is quite amazing. Oh, where, where was that from? A uh, pub called the Lord Nelson in the Holloway Road, when Charlie was uh, Charlie Gillett was managing us, and um, he got a BBC Two probably yeah. to come and do a little squirt. That's quite interesting. Yeah, Some, yeah, nice shots. Very, and all the audience going. Mm. <laughs> like that. They're not exactly grooving. <laughs> but they're kind of going. They're very glum. We were having a good time. That was that's quite interesting. Yeah, there's a there's some discussion about the Kilburns. A few shots. Kilburns were a funny band, you know, they, they looked quite good. Yeah. Sartorially, they looked good, and, you know, physically, they diminished down to four foot up, something, up to six foot two, which was, you know, great. <laughs> the old bus queue I do right. remember seeing some photos of the Kilburns, and, yes, yeah, so physically, uh, yeah. The, yeah, the, the variance. <laughs> there were some wide. variants. Yeah. Cheers.